everyone and welcome to module 10. Uh, this week our focus will be over the review of systems. So when we start this week we only have one chapter to focus on and it's really only just a few pages but that's chapter 36 pages 819 to 823. Uh, so just a few pages, should not be hard for you guys to read. I really hope that you do take the time to read through them. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive into them and take a little bit deeper of a look. So chapter 36 is going to be discussing assisting with physical examinations, but the section we're gonna really focus on is gonna be that of the sequence of procedures in a physical exam. As a medical assistant, you will need to know the specific order that a physician will use during his physical examination. Normally, it will begin with things such as discussing the past medical history. This is the part of the history that includes all diseases and medical problems that the patient has experienced in the past. It will then move to the chief complaint, which is the whole reason that the patient is in for the visit that day. Lastly, the physician will move on to the history of present illnesses. This contains detailed information and description of the symptoms that the patient's having, such as the onset, the duration, and the intensity of each symptom. After we have reviewed all of those situations, the physician will then do what he calls a review of system. This is a complete head-to-toe examination that focuses on evaluating all the patient's body systems. Those will include the, sis the systems of the skin, hair, nails, head, neck, eyes, ears, nose, and mouth and throat, the head, the heart, and the chest, the lungs, breasts, abdomen, genitalia, rectum, legs and feet, and the neurological system. So let's talk about those. So with the skin, the physician will inspect and palpate the skin. This will indicate the patient's nutritional level and their hydration level. The hair, they will look at the color, texture, distribution, quantity, and growth pattern. This will help to determine some conditions such as alopecia. The nails will be next. Again, they will look at the color, texture, size, and shape. And this is for possible circulatory problems or fungal infections. With the head, we will look at the shape, size, and symmetry. The scalp will also be assessed for parasites, lesions, flakes, and irritations. The face of the patient will reveal a lot about their state of health and their stress level. The neck is assessed for range of motion, pulsations, texture, color, lumps, masses, and swelling. The eyes, so hopefully prior to a physician exam, they may ask the MA to perform what we call an acuity test. Uh, if you remember back into module two, when we were talking about the eyes, we talked about distance acuity, uh, near vision acuity, color vision, some of those may be performed. The provider will examine the visual field, pupils, reaction to light, and the structures of the eye. With the ears, they will assess the internal and external ear for color, size, shape, and position. And they may also perform some hearing tests that we discussed back in module three. With the nose, the internal and external parts will be examined for color and symmetry. And the, the provider may also perform a sense of smell test, but not always. With the mouth, they will assess the lips and the inside of the mouth for symmetry, moisture, color, and lesions. They will also examine the tongue at this point for texture, color, size, shape, symmetry, movement, and positions. With the throat, they will begin with the patient sticking out their tongue and saying, ah. 
In doing so, the provider can examine the uvula, tonsils, and throat for color, size, shape, symmetry, and movement. This will also provide the provider a chance to test the gag reflexes. Um, I forgot one. They will look at the arms or the extremities, and they will look at the joints and the pulses um, to see the strength and range of motion. With the heart, they will assess the sounds of the heart, looking for rate, rhythm, pitch, and quality. The chest will be assessed for symmetry during breathing. It will also be assessed for pain, tenderness, lesions, lumps, and temperature. At this point, they will also examine the spine. With the lungs, they will assess the breath sounds, making sure to know any rate, rhythm, pitch, depth, or location. The breasts will be assessed in both males and females, and they will look at the size, shape, symmetry, texture, while looking for any discharge, lumps, masses, pain, or tenderness. With the abdomen, what we'll be looking at is symmetry, texture, temperature, and movement. The provider will also listen to bowel sounds for frequency, pitch, gurgling, or any clicking sounds. Now, because the abdomen is broken down into four quadrants, the provider will listen and tap each organ in the quadrant, looking for signs of masses, positions of the organs, and muscle tone. The genitalia will be broken down for males and females. For females, the internal and external genitalia will be examined. And for males, the external genitalia is examined and a testicular test is performed. The rectum is assessed for any lesions or masses, and most physicians will only do this after the patient has reached age 40, unless there's any sort of family history or concerning problems that come about. The legs and the feet will be tested for pulses and the joint movement, as well as strength and range of motion. And lastly, the neurological examination the provider will assess the reflexes. He will also observe how the patient walks, their facial expressions, the sensation to responses, speech, and movements. There are three types of review of systems. They are called the problem pertinent, the extended, and the complete. Please review the provided information for your discussion post this week which will help give you a better understanding of the three of those types of review of systems. All right, so this is the review of the review of systems that I have for you guys this week. Please make sure that you read those just few short pages um, as they will help you grasp the concepts for lab class this week as well as your discussion board. As I said for this week's discussion post, you are looking at and discussing the three types of review of systems. Again, those three types are the problem pertinent, the extended, and the complete review of system. You will need to explain and describe each type in your own words. So please make sure that you complete your initial discussion post no later than Tuesday, December 6th by midnight and have at least one reply post to a classmate no later than Saturday, December 10th by midnight. There is no quiz this week as you guys will be preparing and planning for your final exams in Module 11, so just the discussion post this week is what you have due. If you have any questions or concerns, guys, please make sure that you reach out to me via email or by phone, and I hope that you all are prepping up and getting ready for your final exams, uh, both in the lecture class here and in your lab classes. Bye, guys.